I mean, she had more to say about the, the Border Patrol agents for, quote unquote, whipping these migrants, which never happened. It was the reins of the horses. She had more to say about that than she does about a man giving his life to try and protect our borders. Does that not say anything about the Biden administration? Does that not say anything about Jen Psaki herself? Welcome to the Bald Brad Show. Our story here is regarding the White House Press Secretary, Jen Psaki, dodging and deflecting questions about National Guardsman Bishop Evans, who died while trying to save two migrants that were smuggling drugs at the U.S.-Mexico border. As always, folks, if you want to support us here at the Bald Brad Show or conservative, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Share this link with your friends and family all over social media. That being said, this comes from our friends over at the Daily Wire, and they say that the White House Press Secretary, Jen Psaki, responded to the death of Texas National Guardsman Bishop Evans by emphasizing that his work was directed by the state and not the federal government. Saki shared the provocative words during the White House's daily press briefing on Monday by saying, quote, Our heart goes out to his family and his loved ones, Saki noted, but was quick to shift blame when asked about the Biden administration's responsibility. And we see this consistently from the Biden administration. And I'll use the inflation crisis that's taking place. It's not called the Biden inflation crisis. What the administration's calling it is the Putin price hike. And I have to point out, this has been going on since before Putin ever invaded Ukraine. You had Joe Biden through his COVID-19 stimulus checks. He was pumping them out like they were hotcakes and people were cashing in, causing a massive influx of money into the economy, causing inflation. But again, who's he going to point the blame to? Vladimir Putin, not himself. Let's use another example. The immigration crisis that happened in the U.S.-Mexico border. It's not called the Biden immigration crisis. They're not even calling it a crisis from the Biden administration. They're calling it a challenge. A challenge that was created by who? Donald Trump. I kid you not, it's been happening since day one. But the thing was, it not Donald Trump having six to 8,000 people crossing the border every single day, or 200,000 a month, or 2 million in one year, or 4.3 million if Title 42 is not extended, or 10 to 18,000, depending on what you want to look at in terms of stats. None of this was taking place when Trump was in office. But who are they going to blame? Not themselves. They're going to blame Trump. So it's always blaming somebody else but themselves for the problems that they created. It says here, does the White House feel any responsibility for his death and that there's reporting that he lost his life allegedly trying to save two migrants who were smuggling drugs, the reporter asked. Does the White House feel at all responsible? The reporter added. She says, of course, we are mourning the loss of his life and we are grateful for the work of every National Guardsman. It just ends there. And then she shifts to the blame game. Check this out. I would note that the National Guard works for the states and so he is an employee of the Texas National Guard and his efforts and his operations were directed by there, not the federal government in his efforts. So again, shifting the blame to somebody else and literally just saying one sentence for this guy that sacrificed his life trying to save two people who were breaking the law, might I add, one by obviously coming over here illegally, but two smuggling drugs and he died. And you're gonna say one little sentence like that? I mean, she had more to say about the, the border patrol agents for quote unquote, whipping these migrants, which never happened. It was the reins of the horses. She had more to say about that than she does about a man giving his life to try and protect our borders. Does that not say anything about the Biden administration? Does that not say anything about Jen Psaki herself? I mean, when we get to Greg Abbott, Governor Greg Abbott of Texas response here, he gives a whole paragraph, a whole paragraph, and she gives like a sentence and then just starts shifting blame to somebody else. They don't care about our vets. They don't care about, they don't care about our military. They don't care about any of that. None of it. So, you know, this whole thing is just absolutely disgusting coming from the Biden administration. They are to blame. Look, if they kept in Trump's policies, there's a good chance this man wouldn't have been at the border in the first place, and two, that he'd still be alive today. But, you know, they don't want to take, they don't want to take any responsibility for their actions. They want to blame everybody else so that they don't look bad in the polls, which is kind of funny because, again, Joe Biden looks bad in the polls regardless. Well, it says here, Evans disappeared on Friday, attempting to rescue two migrants who were crossing the Rio Grande River. Evans was assigned to Operation Lone Star and was reported missing along the Rio Grande River during a rescue attempt in Eagle Pass. Again, he wouldn't be a part of this Operation Lone Star if he didn't have this massive immigration crisis taking place. And it's frustrating because I don't like people blaming other people. Look, if you cause the problem, you own up to it and you try to fix the damn thing and they won't do it. They consistently won't do it. It's not hard. It is really not hard. You just put Trump's policies back in place. You get on the damn podium day in and day out and you say, look, if you're not, if you don't have your papers in line, if you're not in line, then don't come through the US-Mexico border illegally. We're gonna send you back. You got to be stern, but he's not willing to do it. it. Says Texas military department officials recovered his body on Monday morning. 
The search concluded at about 8.30 a.m. on Monday when Border Patrol agents found the body of Specialist Evans near the Mexican side of the Rio Grande. Texas Republican Governor Greg Abbott released a statement on social media. I, I want to read this statement because I think it's important because it shows his heart compared to our federal government. Quote, we are heartbroken to learn about the death of SPC Bishop Evans. Our National Guard soldiers risk their lives every day to serve and protect others, and we are eternally grateful for the way SPC Evans heroically served his state and country. I thank the members of the Texas National Guard, the Texas Department of Public Safety, Texas Parks and Wildlife, Border Patrol, and local law enforcement for working around the clock to locate the soldier. The Texas Military Department will continue to provide more updates to the public as they become available. I ask the Texans join Cecilia and me in praying for the family and friends of SBC Evans as they grieve this heartbreaking loss. He put way more effort into this than Jen Psaki did in the Biden administration. It's not like they didn't know about this. This was national news. It's all over the television. But again, you know, they're going to just, I know I'm repeating myself, shift the blame because it's always easier, guys. It's always easier to shift the blame to somebody else than take personal responsibility for the crap storm that you create. Well, Texas Republican Senator John Cron was directed in his blame on the Biden administration's policy related to the drowning. And rightfully so. Again, Biden is the one to blame here. Each day, brave Texans are working to do what the Biden administration will not secure a border. He tweeted, tragically on Friday, one of our state's National Guardsmen paid the ultimate price attempting to save a life. My heart breaks for his family and his friends at this terrible time. Again, all our hearts should break because this man shouldn't have died in the first place. Very similar to those 13 Afghanistan shoulders shouldn't have been blown to bits because Biden should have never pulled out the way that he did. Freaking no plan. Dude just woke up from his nap one day. Being, oh, oh, we need to pull out of Afghanistan. Everybody do it. Right. And you got guys getting blown up over there. But again, no personal responsibility there from the Biden administration. None at all. Biden literally blew up a family that, that were supposed to be terrorists. He blew up a freaking family and he didn't take personal responsibility for it. Again, there's a litany. There's literally a list of things that Biden did, crises that he's caused or problems that he's caused that he just doesn't take acceptance or personal responsibility for. I'd also like to point out his, this guy was right by pointing the blame at Joe Biden and the Biden administration by saying that he, you know, he paid the ultimate sacrifice because not just him, there's people that are being, you know, coming over here and dying while making that trip in the desert through the U.S.-Mexico border. Right. I mean, Biden's literally created an entire billion, like multi-billion dollar industry with the sex trafficking, drug smuggling, having the drug cartel smuggle people and, and sex traffic, all sorts of stuff. A billion dollar industry here by not protecting our borders. So people are paying the ultimate uh, sacrifice here, not just our National Guardsmen. There was literally a lady that was hanging from the freaking uh, wall down at the Mexico border dead. These, they don't show the images of all these people that are that are dying on these ranchers' properties that are across the border in the U.S. side. They don't show the people that are dead on the Mexico side in the desert. They don't show all sorts of things like that. They're paying the ultimate sacrifice. You had to have a better life. But look, if we were actually responsible in our messaging and our PR by saying, look, don't come. You're not going to be able to make it. Don't do this. Don't make this journey. Don't make this trip. Save your money. Do things the right way. You know, all this stuff, you wouldn't have this problem. But again, if they just took some sort of personal responsibility, some self-acknowledgement, some self-reflection on the things that they created, maybe there could be some answers here. Maybe we could fix this thing. But for some ungodly reason, folks, and trust me, I've tried. I've reflected. I can't figure out why they just won't stop this. I don't get it. People are dying over it. It just doesn't make sense to me. But, you know, again, I'm always trying to find some sort of logic and reason inside a Democrat's mind, and it just ain't there. I'm pulling straws here, folks. <laughs> with that being said, as always, folks, if you enjoy this type of content, make sure you like and subscribe. Share this with your friends and family all over social media, and I will see you later today here on The Bob Brad Show.